Today we introduce a new segment, The Update. And lots of opportunities for seniors to explore college over the next few weeks. All today on On The, the Air. Air. And I'm Nate Parker. In a new segment, we go out and get your views on current trends and issues. It's time to have your voice heard on The Update. Hey, I didn't see you there. I'm Tavian Gillard, and I've decided me and my partners here, we've decided to go around and interview students about how they feel about current day problems. Okay, and we're gonna change these problems. And we're gonna make the world a better place, whether you like it or not. So come on, let's go interview some people. Hi, I'm Sanaya Parsons and this is... Your boy Tremel. Um, How do you feel about racism in today's world? I mean, I don't feel like it's here anymore. I mean, it might be, but like, hey, when I hang around, we're all cool. I have white friends. So, like, I don't feel like there's no racism in, in today's world. Other people might feel different, but that's my opinion. What about in Richmond? I mean, probably, like, out in public, like, when you're out around, yeah, people might look at you funny because, like, I mean, I feel like it because the way I dress, you know. But um, around school, nah, I don't feel like it's in my school or anything. But, like, outside of school, I feel like it is. Um, I think there's a few individuals that still are a little... Um, discriminatory, I think that's the word. Um, but in Richmond, I think it's a very diverse area in that people are um, a lot more accepting and open about racial views or whatever. Um, I personally think racism is stupid. I don't think there's a lot of racism going on in Richmond, but around um, America, it's getting out of hand. We're not, you know, back in the old times. We need to get over it and let two races be together and be happy. <laughs> yeah. Um, how would you feel if you got discriminated every single time, all the time? Like every time you go somewhere just because of your skin color? You're not asking a question. I know I'm not asking a question, I'm just saying. That's how I feel about it. I, I honestly don't like it at all, of course, because I'm black, I'm African American, my, this is my melody, and I'm proud. And I'm biracial. Black lives matter. Hey, what's your name? Uh, my name is Julian Reeves. And how do you feel about racism today? Oh, I'm not a big fan of it, actually. Um, I don't like racism. I think that any discrimination is bad. I think it's very prevalent in our society. Um, not so much in like how it was in the past where we had um, slaves or um, black people were considered uh, second-class citizens. But if you look at uh, incarceration rates in prisons, um, it's proven that white people and black people commit crimes at the same rate, but we are not incarcerated at the same rate. So if, say us, if we were doing the same crime, crime and were caught doing it, um, you are more likely to get brought in than I am. And it's, I think it's still a problem. And do you think there's racism in Richmond? Um, I, yes, I, I think there is racism in Richmond. I have met people um, who didn't have the classic idea we have of racism, but um, if I were to date their daughter, they'd be okay with it. But if uh, an African American were to, they wouldn't. And remember, kids, racism is in the past. We all just need to love each other. I'm Sanaya Parsons with the update. There are some great college visit opportunities for seniors coming up, but there's another that's open to juniors and seniors. Purdue Polytechnic's Day of College is open to both juniors and seniors. Students interested in computer graphics, animation, web design, engineering, robotics, and more should consider going. If you think you'd like to attend, you must be on track to graduate with a Core 40 diploma. Just see your counselor to find out more. 
Now let's find out more about some other college opportunities in today's announcements. Hostess Walk to Fight Alzheimer's, Biomed Europe is fundraising, and more in today's announcements. As we told you on Wednesday, HOSA has a team to walk to end Alzheimer's. The walk is coming up next weekend and you can make a donation by following the link on the RHS HOSA Facebook page or on the RHS Radio TV Facebook page. The next RHS BPA meeting is scheduled for next Wednesday, September 27th in room C215 during all three lunches. Please plan to attend during your assigned lunch period. All membership dues must be turned in at the meeting. Also. The All Mancino's Pizza Certificate orders are due at the meeting. Certificates will be distributed when the money is received for the orders. We will be finalizing membership information and talking about the Fall Leadership Conference that some of our members attended. Seniors, if you'd like to take a tour and find out more about IU East, then you can sign up for a field trip at lunch on Monday. To be eligible, you must be on track to graduate with the Core 40 Diploma. The trip will be next Friday, September 28th. Attention everyone going on the Biomed Tour of Europe and is or wants to sell hot drinks to raise money. There will be a short meeting after school today in Miss Hizzard's room. If you can't be there, stop by and see her. Also, students going to Europe on the Biomed trip will be fundraising by gathering sponsorships from businesses for our t-shirts. Any student enrolled on the tour who wants to fundraise by getting sponsorships needs to come to a meeting after school next Friday, September 29th to get sponsorship forms and claim businesses. The meeting will be in R160 and last 20 to 30 minutes. If you haven't gotten your Bleacher Creature t-shirt yet, you still can. Just see Miss Hinky in the Counseling Center. She still has a few left. Remember, cost is $10 and don't wait. Get yours in time for the next home football game. Host's next meeting is next Wednesday, September 27th in Miss Hizzard's room. Dues and membership forms should be turned in at or before the next meeting. Junior early college students, you'll be visiting Miami University on September 28th and your permission ship forms are due today. Sophomores will be going to the University of Dayton on November 8th and seniors, you need to sign up with Mr. Ronnie to find out more about the Vincent's University trip and sign up. Make sure to turn in your permission slips ASAP. Seniors, don't forget College Go Week starts this Monday the 25th. Many Indiana colleges will accept applications for free that week. Check your canvas for an announcement with a list of all the schools who are offering free applications next week and any seniors who apply to those schools this week can let the counselors know and be entered to win some great college swag. And teachers, you can win too. Don't forget to decorate your door in your alma mater this week and you could win a Tim Hortons gift card and the department with the most teacher doors decorated can win square donuts. That's your announcements. I'm Sonia. Soccer and tennis in today's Red Devil Sports Report. There were just a couple of sports in action for the last few days. Let's see how they did. Last night, RHS Girls Soccer hosted a tough Knightstown team and once again were hot on the offensive side of the ball, scoring a big 9-0 shutout. Peyton Van Middlesworth was on fire with a hat trick and won. Her four goals led RHS to yet another win and moved them to 8-5-1 overall and 3-1 in the NCC. The girls head into the NCC tournament this weekend, having scored over 20 goals in their last four games. And we wrap up with boys tennis who hosted Lincoln. RHS improved their record 15-2 with another sweep of all matches to win 5-0. Every match was decided in straight sets for the Red Devils who will play in the Delta Invitational this weekend. Good luck to the football team as they look for their first win tonight. Both soccer teams as they compete in the NCC tournament tomorrow and to girls golf who will compete in regionals tomorrow. We'll let you know how they did on Monday. That's sports. I'm Olivia. Let's take a look at the weekend forecast with Caleb. It is the first day of fall, but it doesn't feel that way. With this heat wave coming up, it's going to last us a couple days. Today, you will see clear skies. If you plan on going to the game, be sure to dress cool. It's going to be warm. Today, the highs are going to be upper 80s with the lows being lower 60s. Tomorrow, the highs are going to be upper 80s and the lows falling in the low 60s. So be sure to dress cool these next couple days. It's going to be warm, especially if you're going to the game. So that's the rundown. That's our show, and as we close, here's a look at a graduation from the RHS Alternative Program. We started showing these last spring as RHS seniors graduated early, and this is the first to graduate for the class of 2018. 
Congratulations and keep up the good work. Have a great weekend and make sure to pick up a copy of the Register to take home with you. Their new edition comes out today. Students, it's my privilege to recognize our first graduate of the 2017-18 school year, Hannah Smith. Yeah.